Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you are new to my channel, welcome. So let's find out what is going on in your love life. Okay, so I'm seeing that some of you have found a very, very special, special connection, okay? This is the connection that when it came into your world, it felt as if it was a sense of relief. It feels like the type of energy that was healing, that was nurturing, that was providing your soul with a reason to believe in love again, okay? This feels like an energy of where, you know, you were, be, you were being given something by a higher power. You were being granted something that was much bigger than both you and this individual concern. And it feels as if it's connected to an element of destiny. It feels as if the stars had to line up for this connection to come together. Now, with this connection, it feels as if the two of you had so many things and experiences and, uh, you know, events in your life that really connected both you and this individual together. So you may have had, you know, a lot of ups and downs. They may have had a lot of ups and downs. And the process of finding up each other, finding each other was no easy task. I have a lot of words to say. So sometimes, you know, the cards communicate in a way in which you have uh, a lot of things to express. This is definitely one of those times. Now, the next energy I'm seeing is an indication of certain things that were awakening inside of your soul and this individual was going through that process as well. This could be certain experiences and events that were coming up during the course of your relationship and this feels like because of the combination of the cards it feels as if past energies were you know turning up again and the positioning of the card also plays a role right. Now, this was creating a lot of sort of uh, resistance, energy of trying to push against this connection, not wanting to accept how special this connection is. So one individual was refusing to believe that this could be real, that this connection was a gift from a higher power and that the two of you came together at that moment in time because of uh, something bigger than both you and this individual. It feels as if it's connected to destiny. Now, I feel like these issues, these elements that were buried deep inside, for them to rise up during a very, very special time in your relationship means that it could have shown up in many different ways. Perhaps this individual got cold feet or they became distant or something was happening. Maybe they were taking some issues that they had in past relationships with other individuals and putting it onto you and vice versa. But there's definitely an indication here of pushing against something and not wanting to awaken to this true experience of what was unfolding between both you and this individual, right? So let's have a look at the present energies. For those of you that are interested in learning how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. There is going to be an extended reading where I'll be looking at these energies in greater detail. Yeah, and literally feels as if, you know, Cupid was shooting the two of you with the bows of arrow of love, right? Now, if we look at the present energies, we see 
there's these tormenting emotions, there's the loss of the lover, and thinking to yourself, well, things could have been different, things should have been different. And, you know, there's this sort of melancholy that's attached to it. How did things come to this place? Why did one individual have to start fighting against, you know, this beautiful connection that was meant to awaken both you and this individual to your higher purpose, right? I do feel like there could be a lot of spying that is being done during this time between you and this individual. Things have changed, right? I feel like there's an energy of feeling, you know, like there's this emotional displacement as a result of all this sort of resisting and fighting against this connection. So let's have a look and see what is going on with this person that you're dealing with. What is their mind, heart and soul? I feel like, so I'm picking up an energy of where there's an element from this individual that is basically holding their head, wondering what have they done about the situation. They could be feeling really bad, but I'm also sensing here yeah, that in terms of their heart, they know that you make them feel very, very happy, Scorpio. But there's something about their soul energy which is giving me an indication where this person is having a hard time reconciling this connection with their soul. There's something about their soul energy that is not so accepting because we see on a mental level this individual is, you know, basically holding their head and wondering what have they done and then on a heart level they know you make them feel really happy but on a soul level this individual it's hard for them to fully accept this union or fully accept this connection for what it can be or what it should be this is uh, you know focus on current energies Let's get some additional information. Yeah. This person on a you know soul level they haven't been able to connect with you in the way that you wanted them to right because I'm picking up this energy of this person feeling trapped they may have a lot of uh, things inside of them but it's, it's coming from their soul this sort of energy these oppressive sort of uh, ideas or things that are emanating from deep inside of them this could be coming from um, you know lessons that they've had that has accumulated created blockages inside of them because on a heart level this individual is 100% with you on a mental level I'm also sensing that this individual created an emotional sort of distance between the two of you yeah this is uh, indicating that they were running or hiding from this connection So two, two major distinctive things are coming across here is the mental energies and the soul energies which are not at peace with the situation. That's why this individual was resisting and pushing against this relationship when they should have been embracing it because it does feel like this connection is no ordinary connection. It is something that is incredibly special for both you and this individual concerned. 
So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. I'm going to be looking at the feelings and thoughts of this individual, as well as exploring, you know, what is happening with their, you know, mind energy as well as their soul energy, because it feels like this individual hasn't been able to connect with you in the way that you've wanted them to. It feels as if they have either a hard time to see your point of view and, you know, it feels like this individual might have been leading you on. But they were only deceiving themselves because their heart is connected to you. So why are they playing this stupid little game? I'm going to be exploring all of that in the extended reading. I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. Have a wonderful day and take care.